Hey, this is Bob from Wham's Tech, and today we are going to fix our card packs, treasure chests, whatever you want to call them. Back in episode 11, I showed you how you can create card packs for your gamified app using Glide. However, uh, the spreadsheet that spits back those random items uh, is too fast for Glide because if you don't have a pro app, and even if you do have a pro app, it's there's still a three or four or five second delay before those random items hit the spreadsheet and then hit your app right so you have the potential for your users to if they open those items fast enough to get three of the same item in a row before the glide app can keep up with the spreadsheet so luckily glide released a feature just this past week which allows you to bypass all of that and mitigate that issue so let's take a look all right, if you remember correctly, in our store, we had these crazy formulas that allowed us to find a random item, right? We checked these boxes if it was available in the pack. We specified how many cards were in the pack. We then found a sequence of numbers, one through however many uh, items that were available in those pack. And then we picked a random number from this list and related it back to this number to grab a random ID. It was just really confusing. So. We don't need to do this anymore. These formulas can go away and we can just rely on Glide Data Editor, which is perfect because as we know, the more we use the Glide data columns in the data editor, the faster our app will be, the less lag we'll have and the better user experience you're gonna get. So to do that, the first thing you have to do here is in your transaction log, create a new relation column where we are going to relate our is in inventory. Remember, that's the true false column that exists in our transaction sheet that will specify whether or not this item still is in your inventory or not based on a variety of factors. For our card packs, that true or false is determined by whether or not all of the cards have been used up in that pack. So for a three card card pack, as you unpack them one at a time, eventually it'll hit three and at that point, um, your, your counter goes down to zero and then you don't have any cards left in your pack and so that column changes to false. Well, while it's true, we're gonna relate it back to the store and get the available in pack column, right? So we're relating the true false of our is in inventory to the true column of the available in pack. And so you see here for this five card card pack, which I have here at the bottom, all right, so this five card card pack, right now it is still in, in my inventory. I'm relating this true to all of the trues that are available in our, um, available in pack column. And it's gonna spit back for me the six items that are available in those packs. Okay, it looks like this, the six items, or it looks like this, the six items available in the pack. Okay, from here, I need to pick one of them. Right? And if I can't use a spreadsheet formula, how are we gonna pick one random item from this relation? Well, Glide released a feature in their uh, existing single value column component in the add column. Uh, we now have the ability to pick a random item, not just the first item. So we're gonna add column, and it's going to be a single value column. Okay, And I named mine random item ID. And so I grabbed the um, single value and I'm getting a random value from our relation that we just created. And I'm grabbing the item ID. And so basically what this is doing is I have my relation of six items. I'm picking one of those six items and I'm spitting back one of the columns of data related to that item. So this is basically like a lookup column but for a random item in a relation how else is kind of neat is because this is a multiple relation but our lookup our random lookup value is just returning back one care one one item right in this case it's the item id and we want the item id because this item id is going to be the skew in the transaction when we go to unpack the card all right, so we have our relation of true to true, our six items. We now have a random item ID. And now we just have to get some data on this. So I'm relating this item um, back to the store. So here's my relationship to card pack item. OK, 
Okay, We already had this relation earlier. I just moved it over here. And now I'm specifying the single value random item ID, not the lookup that we had before. So this is the um, single value random ID here. And I'm relating it back to the store and getting the item ID. Okay. Uh, so now I'm relating this to the store, which means I can pull in the item name and I can also pull in the item image. Okay. And I'm now going to use these items as part of the unpacking. Okay. So if I give us a refresh here, let's actually get rid of all those extra items in my transactions. Delete and give my app a refresh. I should now have just a five card booster pack, maybe. Maybe a three card in there too. Let's see. Okay. Just my five card booster pack. Great. So I have my five card booster pack and I still have my unpack button. And so we have to make a couple of changes here. So the first thing is the random item ID, right? This was the lookup to the spreadsheet formula. We don't need that anymore. So you can trash this random item ID and we're instead going to find that random ID item ID, the single value column here. So random item ID, this is that single value column and that's gonna be our new SKU. Okay. Now there's one other tricky little thing here because this now doesn't have any lag because the spreadsheet formula is not feeding our, this value anymore. It's actually so fast that, um, in the middle of your submission here to unpack this item, it will change the skew. And then you're going to actually, if you're, if you're still pulling in the item, it's actually going to be a different item. <laughs> Uh, than what is being looked up. So what I had to do was instead just writing the item name to the sheet, I have to do a lookup of whatever this item ID was, just like we did with our crafting. So back in the data editor here, what I did was is I created a new lookup value called item name. So the item name is a lookup of the relationship to shop item name, right? And that relationship to shop is the ID to the ID, right? So this is the relationship to shop where I'm relating the ID of the transaction back to the item ID of the shop. This has been there since we first created our items shop there. And I'm now getting the item name. We weren't grabbing this from the shop before. We were just writing the value upon buying the item. Um, but we're actually going to need this value now because it changes so fast when we go to unpack cards that uh, they would actually not line up anymore, surprisingly. So it's probably a bug, but at least this way we know that the item name will always be accurate because we're just looking up the ID number instead. So the only issue with that is that we were also writing our crafted items to this item column here, right? So when we crafted a tent, the word tent was there. When we bought some lumber, the word lumber is there. But since we're only looking up values in the store, any crafted items aren't appearing here, right? So just like we did with our item descriptions, we have to do an if then else. Remember that? When we did our crafted item, right, we also had to do a lookup to grab the description and then do an if description, right? So if the item description from the store, right, was not empty, then we are pulling in the item description. Otherwise, if the crafted item description is not empty, then we're pulling in the crafted item description. So we're doing this exact same thing, but now just for the item name. So here's our crafted item name, right, which we looked up. And now we are doing the same thing. So if the item name from the store is not empty, then pulling in the item name. And if the crafted item name that we crafted is not empty, then pull in the crafted item name. So now our column doesn't have any empty values in it. And now we are just going to display the if item name here as our inventory. So here's our inventory. Here's the inline list. We already switched it for image is the if image and the description is the if description. Well, now our title is going to be the if item name as well, right? So if I dive into this mind control card, this image should be the if image, the title should be the if description, and the item name should now be the if item name, like that. 
Okay, so that's the only difference. We're now just doing a lookup value, then writing the value uh, upon transaction. All right, but all that being said, there's no more spreadsheet formulas. The relations and looks up were, were fairly easy here, uh, but now just watch how fast this is. So a five card booster pack. Okay, I'm gonna unpack, submit, linen, unpack, submit, leather, unpack, submit, linen, unpack, submit, paper, unpack, submit, lumber. Look at that. See how fast that was? That's awesome. And then all five of those items are now in my inventory. And my card pack went away. So Glide Data Editor, always use it because you know it's gonna be fast. You know there's not gonna be any lag. And with that new single value random, you now have the ability to add in random items throughout the uh, throughout your app. Sneak peek for the next video. I'm gonna use this exact same technique for dice. Check this out. Four-sided dice, six-sided dice, eight-sided dice, 10-sided dice, where you wanna roll one die or two, and you can re-roll and look how fast that is. So that's a sneak peek. I'm gonna show you how to build that next video. Stay tuned.